Hi Andy, as promised, uh, your next review in regards to the pieces that we've worked on. Um, just a quick comment regarding the line of the eyes, that's improved nicely since we last spoke, if you will. So we're looking a little bit more down towards the ball now, so the posture's better. Um, it can still go down a little bit more, uh, won't do you any harm. Still a little bit chin up. However, in a much more, a little bit bigger, a much more appropriate position for making a centered turn than you were the last time I viewed your swing. So well done in regards to that. Right foot turning out more as well, which is getting the knees to look a little bit more, uh, a little bit more natural, if you will. The right knee's not as kinked in. Uh, can maybe push the hips forward a little bit more on this one, maybe an inch or so. But having said that, it's a slightly skewed angle with the camera. It's not quite in line with the chest. Uh, so, you know, that's maybe a little bit misleading in regards to that. The first thing I want to bring to your attention is how much the handle is obviously up, but the dress still needs to go lower. But just before you pull the trigger, you see there's a lifting of the handle. So before you start your swing, the handle of the club is still very high. And there's been a slight alteration to your eye because of that. So as your handle goes up, so does your head. So there's a slight lifting there of everything as you start the swing. The right arm is also very, very straight, nigh on locked out at this point. So if I just take you down right to the beginning, and then as you push the handle up, that right arm is really, really locked, which leads to this takeaway being excessively wide. So we're talking about the accumulators last time, and we wanted zero rotation of accumulator three. That's easier to achieve when the handle is lower. So you can see the difference between yourself and Charlie at setup just before you pull the trigger. Charlie's handle is down, making it easier for accumulator three to load in the appropriate manner. And you can see here there's a slight softening of this right arm. Accumulator 1 has started to load a little bit from P1 to P2. What we see with yourself, handle goes up, promoting more of an inside roll. So despite your best efforts, that left arm is still going to roll and load too much. There's been no softening, however, at that stage of the right arm. So the right arm is still very, very straight. And you can see already that Accumulator 3 started to load as can be seen by the shaft and the club face being open to the arc of the swing at that point so the handle being up is really not doing you any favors at this point uh, if you want to go on youtube have a little look at people like robert rock uh, morad students mac o'grady you know setting up to it very low with the hands quite a lot of hinge in the hips certainly over the ball more than what we're seeing with yourself so handle way too high cause an accumulator three to roll despite your best efforts and resulting in very very little softening of the right arm in charlie's right arm is a little bit softer than yours at p1 anyway uh, probably wouldn't do any harm to just soften that right arm up a little bit at set up. You can see from P1 to P2, very, very straight right arm, which is what we see with Charlie is a slight softening of the right arm. So accumulator one is loading a little bit quicker than with yourself, and accumulator three is loading less. So handle down. Keep the club face pointing at the golf ball for longer, P1 to P2, and feel like the right arm is softening from P1 to P2. Now, one way you can achieve that by means of a, of a drill when you're out there practicing, because uh, I can appreciate this can be quite difficult, your club, because the right arm is very straight, your club stays quite low to the ground in the early part of the golf swing. Whereas what we would want to see is if the right arm is softening and we're swinging in a circle 
as soon as the club starts to go back it should start to work up a little bit more incrementally so what I would say is put something about I usually use a towel I can get a, get a golf towel uh, fold it up and lay it behind my golf ball about 18 inches behind and it's folded up so that it's about an inch and a half off the ground nothing excessive so about a foot and a half back about an inch and a half so if you get your golf towel fold it in half that should do the trick and what that's going to do is just encourage you to get the club working up a little bit sooner which will get this right arm softening a little bit more and this left shoulder working down a little bit earlier which in turn will help with the leg work as well it'll get the left knee flexing a little bit more get the right leg straightening a little bit more and get you extending also in the early part of the goal swing certainly from p2 to p3 a little bit more so a little bit of work on the takeaway still to be done handle of the club needs to be much lower back of the gloved hand if you will or the club face needs to stay pointed at the, at the target or at the golf ball for much longer so you've got to feel like you're taking the club away hooded and then the right arm needs to soften a little bit to allow you to get to the backswing in a much more consistent and stable manner so much work needed there from p1 to p2 still going back to the drill with the towel the other thing this is going to encourage you to do is narrow the radius of the swing so we've still got this widening of the arc as you start down and the club approaching the golf ball too low to the ground it's too difficult to see there because obviously the camera the uh, the blur of the shaft or the quality of camera used and then the follow through really is just a byproduct of everything else you've done very difficult to get the timing of that down swing right if the first move away is throwing the club away from yourself what we need to be seeing is more of a sh more of a narrowing of the radius from p4 to p5 you can see the lower body moving forward bringing the arms down loading the wrist more from p4 to p5 as opposed to with yourself arms get engaged too soon body starting to move forward but the arms are being engaged far too soon widening the radius of the swing causing problems from there on in um, a couple of areas that you could you know, a couple of pages that you could visit in the short term I'm just going to come to the completion of your backswing shortly um, a couple of pages on the YouTube channel that you could visit or a couple of videos that you could look at in the short term I did a drills video I've got a drill section on the channel I did a drill, uh, a drills video. I think it was drills number two. Uh, video where I was working on maintaining accumulator two from P4 to P7 in order to narrow the range of the swing. That would be a nice one to visit. And uh, I've also had some uh, some good progress on this with a student called John Brazier, who is on my channel. His recap, his last two recaps. Uh, around the but his last recap so the last recap for John Brazier will give you a really good insight into how to short or how to narrow the radius of the swing uh, his drills are on that recap as well so if you, you know you can watch the drills on the drills video but you can also uh, watch him demonstrating the drills and myself demonstrating the drills that you need to do from P4 to P7 so a little bit of work on the towel with a drill towel behind the golf ball to help narrow the radius of the swing and help encourage accumulate one the right arm to load a little bit more in a little bit more lively manner from P1 to P2 uh, much work on the setup lowering the handle take it to the extreme get the handle as far down make it feel odd get the handle down keep the back of the gloved hand and the club face pointing at the target for longer from P1 to P2 still less rolling of accumulator 3 required at that point so handle down keep working on the loading of the accumulators from P1 to P2 we want much less rolling of 3 and a little bit earlier loading of 1 which the drill with the towel demonstrated on the top right will help you with now in regards to the completion of your backswing 
It's almost like accumulator three rolls and loads and then continues in that vein but there's very little sort of setting of the wrist you can see there now again largely due to the handle location it's set up very little loading of the wrist and as a result we get a player who almost continues to load three loading 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 and then lifts to the top and we can see there already as he gets to the top very little hinge in the wrist if you were to hinge the wrist a little bit more you get the club lining up a little bit more at the top so be interesting to see how that top of the backswing improves as p1 to p2 improves you've really got to take this to the max and you can't overdo it at this stage I appreciate that some of these things you've been told before being told this stuff and having the information isn't doing the information so yes you understand it yes you've been advised but at the moment you aren't carrying out the actions required so we've really got to get into you know maybe put aside all the other pieces you've got to get p1 right the setup and then you've got to get p1 to p2 correct for the other pieces to have any relevance whatsoever so work needed on the setup and still work needed on the takeaway whilst you're doing that spend some time doing the drill with a towel to help tighten up the radius of the swing from p4 to p5 and in turn that will help start to get the downswing to evolve if you will and change slightly as you go good luck with it feel free to send me an email asking any questions that relate to this online lesson and i look forward to seeing your progress over the coming weeks well done